Hello everyone, welcome back again to my channel. Today's video is all about the lessons in quarter 3 week 7 of Mathematics 10. But before that, let us have first a review on our previous lesson. First, which is or are an experiment? Spinning a wheel, tossing a coin, rolling a die, all of the above. The correct answer is all of the above. Next, how many possible outcomes in rolling a die? 2, 4, 6, 8. The correct answer is 6. Third question, getting a 3 when you roll a die is an example of event, outcome, sample space, experiment. The correct answer is event. Then, Drawing a red ace from a standard deck of cards is an example of simple event, compound event. The answer is compound event. Last, given event A is equal to the set of A, B, C, D, E, event B is equal to the set of D, E, F, G, find its intersection. Is that the set of A, B, set C, D, Set DE, set GH. Correct answer is set DE. Today's objective is find the probability of simple and compound events. Let's focus on the three important terms on the objective probability, simple, and compound events. Probability means it is the chance that something will happen. An event which is impossible to happen has a probability of zero and if an event is definitely going to happen its probability is one so the probability goes from zero to one only simple event is an event with a single outcome while compound event is the combination of two or more simple events or with two or more outcomes Let's take up the probability of simple event. Let us have an example. What is the probability of getting ahead in a single toss of coin? The probability of an event is equal to the ratio of the number of the favorable or desired outcomes and the size of the sample space. Or we have here P of an event is equal to we have here the numerator which is the number of the favorable or desired outcomes or it means number of outcomes that satisfy the requirements or the condition and the denominator size of the sample space is the total number of outcomes so in our example what is the probability of getting ahead in a single toss of coin so first we have to identify its event and that is getting ahead how many outcomes outcomes is that? That is 1. And then therefore, the size of the sample space or the total possible of outcomes is 2. That is the head and tail. Therefore, the probability of getting a head is equal to 1 half or that is the same as 0 0.5 in decimal form or 50% in percent form. Another example, what is the probability of getting a 3 in a single roll of fair die? Remember, we have to identify first the event, the number of favorable or desired outcomes, and the size of the sample space. In our example, the event is getting a 3. How many outcomes is that? There is only one 3. And the size of the sample space is equal to 6. There are 6 possible outcomes when you roll a fair die. Therefore, the probability of getting a 3 is equal to 1 over 6. Let us have this example. A spinner is divided into 10 sections with a pointer at the center. Each section is differently labeled using 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. What is the probability that a single spin will be pointing at 2? So the event is getting a 2. How many outcomes? 1. And sample space that is equal to 10. Therefore, the probability of getting a 2 is equal to 1 over 10. 
Next, what is the probability of picking an ace of spades in a deck of cards? So, the event is picking an ace of spades. How many ace of spades in the deck of cards? There is only one. So, the number of outcomes is one. And take note that there are 52 cards in a standard deck of cards. So, the sample space is equal to 52. Therefore, the probability of picking an ace of spades is equal to 1 over 52. Remember that the probability of simple event, its numerator is always equal to 1 over the size of the sample space. Let's proceed to probability of compound event. The probability of an event is equal to the ratio of the number of the favorable outcomes and the size of the sample space. So example, what is the probability of rolling an even number in a fair die? So the event is rolling an even number. There are three outcomes. What are those? Two, four, six. And the size of the sample space is equal to six because when we roll a die, it has six possible outcomes. Those are one, two, three, four, five, six. Therefore, the probability of rolling an even number is equal to 3 over 6. When we reduce this to lowest term, this is equal to 1 half or that is the same as 0 0.5 or 50%. Next example, what is the probability of getting 2 or 5 in a roll of fair die? What's the event? Getting 2 or 5. How many favorable outcomes? There are 2. What are those? Two, five. What's the size of the sample space? That is equal to six because it has six possible outcomes. Therefore, the probability of getting a two or five is equal to two over six, which is equal to one third in lowest term. Last example, what is the probability of drawing a red face card in a single draw from a standard deck of playing cards? Remember that there are 52 cards in a standard deck of playing cards. We have four suits, clubs, diamonds, hearts, and spades. And each suit contains 13 cards. We have 26 black cards, the clubs, and the spades. At the same time, we have also 26 red cards, the diamonds, and the hearts. We have four aces, and we have also 12 face cards now let's go back to our problem what is the probability of drawing a red face card in a single draw from a standard deck of playing cards remember that we have 12 face cards but we are asked only for a red face card how many red face cards do we have we have only six red face cards and our sample space is 52 Therefore, the probability of getting red face cards is equal to 6 over 52 and reducing that to lowest term, that is equal to 3 over 26. Again, the probability of an event is equal to the ratio of the number of the favorable or desired outcomes and the size of the sample space. Or the P of event is equal to number of the favorable or desired outcomes all over the size of the sample space thank you for watching and learning with me today i hope you learned from our discussion please don't forget to like and share my video at the same time subscribe also on my channel bye